What's going on, America? We're going to talk about the resetting of the American dream, things that are about to come. I know there are many, many people who are hoping for a V-shaped recovery. It ain't going to happen. This is, this is going to impact us for years. And I'm going to talk about what is getting ready to happen across the United States. And it's going to be a little weird and it's going to be a little strange because for many, many years that we've had unprecedented success, vitality, consumer confidence, all of this stuff was going on. That's all about to change. I know there are people who are like, Hey, you know, the housing market's not going to crash. The stock market's not going to crash. And we're just going to bounce back and we're just going to pick right up where we left off. I'm about to explain to you what's about to happen. If this is your first time here, be sure to get 30 days to 2,500 so you can start a business. So you can start making some additional money and also be, get the hustler's mindset, pimping your mind for success, audiobook and course to strengthen your mindset. All right, let's get into what's about to happen. I want you to revisit from about 1900 to about 1970, 1980. Men and women got married because they needed each other. That need is about to come back with a vengeance. For a long time, because see, this recession, depression, is impacting women, because typically recessions have impacted men but this recession is disproportionately impacting women. So women are not going to have the financial wherewithal to live their lives the way that they want to. So this is going to bring back the need because if you look at what happened to the black community with the introduction of big daddy government, daddy government, I'm going to get you a place to stay. I'm going to get you some benefits. I'm going to get you some food stamps. You don't need that man. That is one of the things that just raised through the black community and created a lot of hardship and dysfunctional families. And what you're going to see is that people are, you know, we've seen this, we've done there. We've got the t-shirt. We, we know what's going to happen. So people are like, I don't want that to happen to me and my family. So people are going to start getting married again. I know, I know the red pill and the McDo folks and all the folks who are watching this like, ah. marriage is gonna make a serious comeback because men and women are going to need each other again. This is the resetting of the American dream. I don't know if that's necessarily bad because you know, the economy has created many, many free agents. I can live well, I can, you know, I remember years ago, this girl, she owned a business and she says, as long as Wells Fargo and American Express know me, I'm good. Meaning that she didn't need a man. That's about to change because this whole thing has humbled people and it has reset it, the American dream. You know, for the conversation here, the American dream was to build a, to get married, to have a house, to send your kids to college and have your children do better economically than you did. That was the American dream. That whole thing has been reset because we have a shifting a shift of classes and the lower economic class is about to swell. Now there will be people who will graduate to the upper classes, but their numbers are not going to be many. You know, you're going to have some people during this mess who are going to become millionaires. You're going to have some multimillionaires who are going to become billionaires. But here's the thing of with that. These people were already positioned. They were already on the cusp. They were already doing things to get them there. It's like, you know, and also America, you were positioned to fail. And I'm going I'm to explain why you were positioned to fail. You and your wife, Sally. You and your wife, Sally, your 2.6 kids, your dog named Rover. You and your wife have two car notes. You and your wife have credit card debt as well as a mortgage. And you both have student loan payments. This was the recipe for disaster because now you don't have a job. Your wife, Sally, don't have a job, but you've got all these debt obligations. 
This is going to shift you into a lower economic class unless you fight against it. And you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to fight like Mike Tyson. You're gonna have to be throwing some haymakers to beat your way out of this. And essentially, most of America was positioned for failure because of the heavy debt obligations. Right now, credit card um, issuance is down like 82%. Credit card issuers are not giving out credit cards like they used to. They used to hand them out like candy, like here's a credit card for you, here's a credit card for you. They're not doing that anymore. And this is creating harsh economic realities where America, you're realizing just how poor you are. I got a video on Savage Finance talking about the five, day, five beliefs that keep people poor. So be sure to check that out because it's a really powerful video because part of that is one of the reasons where you are today because of those five beliefs. And one of the things that we've got to come to grips with is this resetting of the American dream. Because essentially, for my dudes who were paying attention to disruptive mail, what was the first mandate? Get your economics together. That was the very first mandate. Second mandate, get your body together. Third mandate, get your mental together. And the fourth mandate, to date submissive women. If you have been focusing on that first mandate, you are about to really become the prize. Because see, this is what's gonna happen. Everything is about to shift lower. Like, put it this way. If you are a man that owns a house, has a car or two that's paid for, and you have high disposable income, which means that your income isn't sucked away by debt and obligations, put it this way. In this new economic climate, if you're making a hundred grand, that's gonna be like making 500,000 grand. I mean, 500,000. This is gonna be the big shift. Now, granted, there will be people out there who are making 10 million a month, but that's gonna be the super class. So we're gonna have, we have an emerging super class. Jeff Bezos is the leader of the super class. If you earned $187,000 a day, which is 5.5 .5 million per month, which is 66 million a year. If you did that for 2000 years, Jeff Bezos would still be richer than you. So Jeff Bezos is an emerging, is the leader of the super class. And we're gonna have many people who are gonna have mega wealth. And it's just going to be ridiculous. And we're gonna have people who are gonna be living in stunning poverty. We're gonna have a polarization of America. We're gonna have the people who really have and the people who have not. And one of the things that you're gonna to have to do is to start building your team because this is what happened from 1900s to about 1975, 1980. People got together and they, the teamwork made the dream work. Men and women got married, they built families, they bought houses, they built assets. This is what you're gonna to have to do unless you are a disruptive man who's building your own stuff, got all your own stuff without a wife. Because my recommendation to you, if you're a man, start building. Don't wait until you get a girlfriend. Don't wait until you get a wife. Don't wait until Jody gets pregnant with Babu. Start building now. Because this will give your op, this will dramatically increase your dating options in the future. I mean, <clears throat> Women have become way more compliant because this recession has disproportionately affected them. This is the first time that they've been really hit this hard. So also the resetting of the American dream is you're not gonna have to do that much to really stand out because we have so many people who have shifted down who are in bad economic situations, who are challenged. <clears throat> They're really, really challenged. And a big part of this challenge is people don't understand where they are. 
there's a reckoning that's sweeping across America. We're on the verge of having 42, 45 million people. I will check the numbers at the end of the month unemployed out of 160 million that were employed before this thing began. I want you to think about that. 40 something million people out of 160. That's a huge percentage. This is unprecedented. It's never happened before. Another thing that's about to happen, people are about to start getting more practical. Right now, we have this fantasy thing that's going on with unemployment. We have low wage workers who are making unemployment, more money on unemployment than they did working. For many of these people, <clears throat> this is the most money they've ever made in their life. I want you to think about this, an additional $600 per week on top of their regular state. This is the most money they ever made in their life. You got to understand what's going to happen to the mental of that person. Luxuries once tasted become necessity. Some people go like, I got to get it. I like this money. I got to start me a business. I got to do something. So you're going to have a large percentage of America for the first time in history who are going to turn to entrepreneurship. They've gotten laid off. The wife gotten laid off. They didn't get a stimulus check. Right now, there are many, many people who are calculating their next move. Uh, the folk, even folks who still have their jobs, because they're, they're sitting there like, they're scared. Am I gonna have my job tomorrow? Will I have my job next month? Because even though the states are opening up, people are still getting laid off. People, businesses are still closing, even though the state's opening up. That's why I go, yeah, yeah, V-shaped recovery, my ass. It ain't happening. Because one of the things is that we're gonna go through this for years. We're looking at three to five years to make our way out of this to the other side. And if you go back to the Great Recession, which wasn't as bad as this is, it took us eight years to climb out of that hole. So we're going to be looking and climbing and adopting new mores. Because like I said, marriage is about to make a comeback like you ain't never seen before. These women are about to become accountable. These women are about to become receptive. These women are about to become very submissive and very agreeable because the reality is the economic wolves and bears are out there in the, I mean, right now, people have no money. I want you to think, you a single mother right now, you got three kids, you have no money coming in. You might be apt to do something strange for a little change because that, that, that pressure, that pressure is building, that pressure is mounting and this is one of the reasons that we're going to reset the American dream is pain. See, people, very few people change without a strong reason to do so. Most people remain the same. They keep their habits the same. They keep doing what they're doing because there is no lever. There is no inducement to change. Right now, a lot of Americans, once these unemployment benefits run out, about to suffer some economic pain because the additional money is supposed to run out July 31st and the Republicans, both Trump and the Senate, they don't want to extend these benefits. The Democrats want to extend these benefits for a year. So we will see who wins on that front because my prediction is if the states keep opening and limping along and limping along, you know, it's going to have to get really bad before they open up the purse books again, before they extend these things, in my opinion. And this is going to cause a lot of economic pain. I'm talking about right now, you've got people who are two to three months behind on their car payments. You got them two to three months behind on their credit card payments. They're two to three months behind on their student loan payments in their house. If they have one that's in forbearance. And let me tell you what's going to happen next year in 2021. It's going to be owned and popping for real estate because at this point, depending upon if they extend unemployment, you know, also you have your state's unemployment. Those benefits are going to start running out 2021. Forbearances are going to come to home to roost. It's 2021. 
is going to be a bear of a year. Because right now we have this artificial prop up, the Fed's propping up the markets, the stimulus package is kind of propped up some of America, because at this moment, there are still people who have not gotten their stimulus check. There's still a bunch of people who have not gotten their stimulus check. So it is crazy to really understand what is about to happen. Also, for my dudes out there, if you become an enterprising, self economically self sufficient man, that's your goal. That's what you should be doing anyway. But I'm here to tell you the options that will be available to you in the future will be insane. Because we're going, like, you're going to see a tamp down of feminism. Women are like right now, and there was all, we were already heading there because a lot of women are like I'm not a feminist. I need a man. I want a man, and you're gonna see a tamp down of feminism. You're going to see a tamp down in MGTOW and red pill. Oh yeah, I know, I know. I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. These women are crazy. They just want money. See, what's gonna happen is men and women are gonna start meeting in the middle. It's like, hey, I got these concerns, I have these grievances, and the women's like, I have these concerns and grievances, and it's gonna like blase, blase, blase. Okay, we could get past that. Let's get together and have sex. That's what's about to happen. You're going to see a reshaping of norms. You're going to see a reshaping of habits because of pain. This is the only thing that's gonna bring women to the table is suffering pain. Because as long as there's this theory that I can live without a man, I got my little government job, as long as that's in play, they're, they're not gonna make any moves, they're not gonna change. But once people start to feel this pain, me, this is what got me here, was pain. It was absolute pain. When I fell off, when I went through my economic crisis in 97, 98, 99, it was pure, pain that prompted me to radically change my life. And this is why I know what I speak, because it's once these people start feeling this pain and, you know, I know there's people like there's food banks, there's SNAP, there are people who are going to go hungry. Everybody don't have a church, everybody don't have a food bank and they're, they're going to be, because see, here's the thing, there are already people who were economically fragile before this. Also, you're going to see an explosion in van life. The number of people, like right now, there's a couple, they're in an apartment, they're having this conversation, he still has his job, she lost her job, they're looking at their money, hey bae, we can get a van. We can live in the van. You're gonna see the explosion of van life, bus life, cargo life, and you're going to see a new movement toward tiny living because people are not gonna have any money. Once again, you're gonna have the lower economic class and you're gonna have the, middle, the, the, the thin middle class. The middle class is gonna be real thin and then you're gonna have the super class. And it's gonna be, the worlds are gonna be so different. When I was a kid, we were so poor that I used to think all my friends who had cable, I thought they were rich because my economic reality was so different than their economic reality. So you're going to see a level of poverty that's going to emerge in America that we have not seen since the Great Depression. You remember those black and white pictures of all those people looking, they were super thin, they were living in the dust bowl, there was nothing growing. We're gonna revisit that. Some parts of America are gonna revisit that way of living. And this, the, the new American dream well, the, the American dream is still gonna be the American dream. I shouldn't say it's a new American dream. The American dream is just going to reset for a large percentage of America that essentially, if you're able to go out and earn money, put food on the table and live in a decent place, you're gonna be, I'm doing good. That's gonna be the new American dream. I'm doing good. I'm able to support myself. I'm able, I got money to get all the things I need, plus a few of the things I want. That's going to be the new American dream because the economic pain that is about to sweep through America 
once the government prop up stops, once the unemployment benefits run out, once the form, it's going to be, I mean, to be dark, the suicide rate is going to skyrocket. The drug addiction rate is going to skyrocket. Domestic abuse is going to skyrocket. Right now, these, all three of these things right now are zooming. They're going to get worse because people have a hard time coping. Because, you know, for a long, long time, we have been fat, fond, and fancy. I mean, even our poorest people have cable and iPhones. That's about to change. We're going to have, we're going to start to see, you know, something else that's going to happen. We're going to start to see people who are going to live on the money they make versus living through an extension of credit because the credit card issuers, they're tamping down. Check out Savage Finance. I, I told you guys about Savage that this was going to happen. 50 million people had their credit card limits reduced or crammed down. And that was just the beginning. That was just the first round. So what is one to do in this new American dream? I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it again. I'm going to say it to Clarence in the back. I'm going to say it to Beth in the back. You need to start a business. I know I don't want to start no business. I want me a good job so I can chill and go home and have no worries. For many of you, that's going to be your only choice. That's going to be your only doorway out of the economic hell that you're living in. That's it. That's going to be it. This is one of the reasons that I'm giving you 30 days to 2,500 to get you into the mindset. Once one of the reasons I'm giving you the hustlers mindset, pimping your mind for success to get you in the mindset because there will not be any other options. One of the things that is going to happen hear me and hear me now is you're going to have to do more to get more. I know this is the internet age. I know there are many internet marketers that are telling you that you can do something quick, simple and have more time and make more money. They lying to you. They be lying. They lies, nothing but lies. So you're going to have to buckle down. And this is where the teamwork comes in because when you get your team partner and you both work together, you can do more and you can get more and you could create more. So a lot of things are about to change in terms of dating, marriage, relationships, building families, having children. Also, the women are going to go home. And I know you're like, well, wait a minute, you just said that the lower social economic class is about to expand and they're not gonna have no money, so how are these women gonna go home? Good point. Women are going to find a way. D people are gonna start living on the money they make. Like, hear me, hear me. I know this sounds crazy, but you know, Jerome, Jerome gonna be it, busting it. Jerome gonna be a truck driver. Jerome gonna do what he need to do. So he and you know his Jerome's wife could stay home with the little kids because schools. And this is something else too. Only kids who are going to be going to public school are going to be the kids of poor people. The elite, the the the, the middle class, the let's call the middle class the nine point nine percent, and then the rich, and then the super class. Their kids are not going to public school. They will never, those kids, those kids in those classes are not going to mix with the kids in these classes. They're just not. And that's going to be a shame because your kids in the lower economic classes will need to mix with these kids who are part of the 9.9% .9 middle class, the rich, and the super class because these kids are going to be connected. That's where the opportunities are going to be because you're just not going to be able to leap out of your lower economic class by brute force. It's just not going to happen. You're going to need to network. You're going to need to know people. You're going to have to build. Building these relationships is going to require you to be an entrepreneur. Because when you become an entrepreneur, you increase the number of people you meet. You increase the number of people who know you. You increase the number of people you can develop friendships with. And this is why entrepreneurship is going to be such an important part of you realizing your American dream. Because America is many different Americas. 
the Jeff Bezos, the super class, then the rich folks, then the 9.9% middle class, then everybody else. See, if you're not in that 9.9%, you're pretty much going to be struggling. You're not going to be able to do the things you want. And, this, and this, this is really the most dastardly part of this. If you do not do anything to counter, to build, you are damning your children to the same economic fate that you are living in. This will become their economic reality. Because I got a video call that I'm going to do talking about how people are going to be locked into their social economic class forever. So one of the things you're going to have to do, you're going to have to start a business. I know a lot of you don't want to hear that. Like right now I'm giving out 30 days to 2,500, like 2,500 of y'all have signed up for it in the last month. And there's only 120 people in the Facebook group. And let's talk about the Facebook group. Facebook group is free. That's the, it's 30 days. It's the Hustlers Kung Fu 30 days to 2500 challenge. This is a place for you to share your ideals, to inquire, to network with other people who are doing the same things. Because like, let, let, let's just put this out here. A lot of you have whenever, you know, I, I put the word free. There, there are people that think everything that I put out is free. The only thing that is free is 30 days, to 2500 and the Hustlers Mindset Pimping Your Mind for Success audiobook course. That's free. Now, I've got probably 500 emails of people who've emailed me who want to chit chat about their business. And I'm about to tell you why I'm not going to open those emails and why I'm not going to respond to you. If you're emailing me and asking me what's a good business for you to get into, you have not done the preliminary work. I'm not going to talk to you. See, Literally, I could spend six to eight hours a day just answering those kind of emails, just going back and forth like, hey, how you doing? Well, this is what you know. No. See, you got to be serious. You got to cut the crap. You got to get serious about your business and emailing me and having the one to have these because you haven't even started your business. You've not used Google. You've not done any research. You haven't looked at anything. You got to do that preliminary lifting. You've got, that's on you. And I'm not going to answer your email. I mean, someone sent me a 10 paragraph long email asking about, well, I'm thinking about doing this. I'm thinking about doing it. See that, that that's the problem. And that's why I created the Facebook group. So you can talk to people who are going through the process because y'all ain't going to wear me out America. Y'all ain't wearing me out. I'm like, seriously, because you got to get serious about your life, baby. You got to get serious because the, the clock is ticking. It is 2020. It's about to be June. Half 2020 is about to be over. And I'm, I'm here to tell you it's going to get bad for 2020. It's going to be worse in 2021. It's going to be much, much worse. All the chickens, all the economic chickens are going to come home to roost. These businesses that have limped along will be filing bankruptcy. These forbearances will run out. The unemployment will run out. It's going to be horrible unless you start doing the things that I said right now. Because even with 30, 40 percent unemployment, we're going to have 60, 70 percent of the people working. And these people will have money. They will need services. They will need things. And these are the people you can sell to. So, America, stop emailing me asking me what kind of business should you get into or is this a good market? You should know. You should be researching. You should have Googled it, done your research. You should have notes and spreadsheets. You should know what you want to get into. When I created Savage Finance, I looked at this channel and I talked about personal finance for years. And I wish I had started Savage Finance years ago. Because one of the problems with this channel, there, there's too many topics on this channel. And when I started Savage Finance, I knew what I wanted to do. I knew my economic philosophy. I knew what I wanted to say. And I put it out there. 
That's what you need to do. You need to do your research. You need to know what you're getting yourself into. Stop asking the man on the internet, what's a good business model for you? I don't know. I don't know. It is up to you to do the work. So that's all I got for you today. Be sure to get 30 days to 2,500. Be sure to get the hustler's mindset, pimp your mind for success. And be sure to actually crack open the courses and do them. America, do the courses. And watch this next video. I will see you guys later.